All right, check this out. That unit's full of water. Dead air handler right there. And it's got the drain line with a little P trap on it, which is all good. You can see it. That's nice. Hopefully, you can see. A little bit of slope. Comes down to right here. 90s back behind this pillar. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I'm going to start trying to crawl this way. But let's follow this drain line and see what it does. So, once again, you see the drain line coming out, trap. 90s. It goes over. This is going to be incredibly shaky because it's tight down here. That's our drain. Hmm. Almost looks like it's going uphill. Now let's follow it some more. Let's see what it does. By the way, that's our drain line. So, uh, a low bridge and wet. I'm soaking wet. What? Still got our drain. Alright, I've got a 45 here. The drain line is coming along. Coming along. Mind you, from where we're at here compared to back there, we're already elevated probably about six inches. But let's keep going. See what we Drain line. Still here. Oh, it's gonna get good. It's gonna get good over here. Mm. Drain line. straight up another six inches and 90s out so we have a couple essentially traps in the drain the drain the gravity drain is draining uphill and uh, yeah and where those drain lines come out outside they're buried underground you can only see the top you can only see basically to where that seam is so that is basically all you can see sticking out of the the gravel outside so even if the drain line was correct which it's not the drain line is buried in the dirt so it would never drain so this is a 2008 unit and um yeah saw the pictures before of the condition of that air handler it's basically been full of water every summer since it was installed and uh, probably has a lot to do with why there's so much damn moisture down here it's probably not the only issue obviously because the ductwork is uh, pretty old and uh, deteriorated but uh, that poor air handler has uh, I've seen a lifetime of water in a very small period of time. And I apologize if this video's shaky, but uh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, look, it's just, I mean, there's just freaking water everywhere. This is, uh, this is insane. There's our unit. I'll add this to hard for me to fit under this duck as you can see my drop light right there for perspective, but Look at the inside of that thing Look at that motor Look at the circuit board Low voltage Everything this unit is destroyed because of something so incredibly simple but yeah oh, happy Thursday so uh, yeah I'll find out whether that circuit board is bad or whether it's the blower that's bad and I still gotta find out why the compressor went off on thermal overload because a bad blower motor and air conditioning typically won't make a compressor overheat but um, yeah that's where we are so 
Fun times. Thanks for watching.